connected. Okay, now we're pulling into Ponca, Arkansas. It's a little town, I don't even know if they have a population here. <laughs> <laughs> they have a sign, but I didn't see no population on the sign, it just says Ponca. Looks like an old church up there. Maybe still in use. Honka Fire Department. That's a big one. They have all kinds of canoe rentals and kayaks. They're getting gas. They're open today. There's the one little store in town and the little post office. This is the Ponca Elk Education Center. It's pretty cool. We went in there one time and looked at it. Pretty neat to learn about the elk of the around the area and more about the area. Honka Bible Camp. There's places to camp around here too. There's Steel Creek Campground. You're not too far from Jasper or Boxley, which this is pretty close to Boxley, kind of the same area, Boxley Valley. Buffalo National River, the first National River. It's closed it off. It said area closed. Pretty cool to look at it, yeah, because the the structure is unstable, so they closed it where people are not going in there and looking at it. it wasn't that way before when we came. How fast things go downhill. It's pretty cool, the old cabin. I'll show you guys on the video here. The difference uh, in back years ago and the way it is now. But uh, this is the, the old cabin. And then if you look here on this picture, you can see where this person, these kids are standing up here on this, which is actually, if you look at this structure, this is the ground level right now. Ground level's right here because you can see this stone in this picture. You can see this stone right up there, and you can tell that this is where the dirt is right now. So, this was that much lower. There was like an underneath part of this building, and it has filled in over the time over that much. Is there like up on a two story part? There must have been a, a staircase somewhere that went up that. But not anymore. It's it's that much fuller where that is crazy. Beaver Gym.
1854 to 1948. This cabin was inhabited in 1914 to Beaver James' grandchildren posed in the photograph. Pretty awesome. Did you get the cover for this? Yeah. I had it laying there. It's in it. Okay. Inside it. So we're going to get back on the trail here. Next time, don't knock my towel off. Got it wet. Next time, hang on to it when I get off. <laughs> Next time, pay attention to what you're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honka Access. I'm surprised it's not all flooded. They've done some work on the boards on that. Yep. And that fence, too. They've worked on that fence. A lot of times we come down here in the morning and there's elk out here in this field. There's a herd of elk out there, but I don't see none this morning. We've seen them as we was coming into the valley on up. Flash flood zone. No overnight parking. No camping. This is where people come down and park for the day and yeah. go for walks and bring the horses down and unload and ride horses. Yeah, there's a lot of horse trails and stuff so people come down and unload here to ride their horses down the horse trails. There's hiking trails all over this country. A lot of famous places like the Hawksville Craig, Whitaker Point Trail. Weight limit 10 tons, you better get off. Did you say let you off? No, oh. better get, you better oh. get off. <laughs> ha, 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 try to backfire that one on me. No. Well, there's not much water for all the rain, and they must not got as much as we well, did back home. It's got more than what it had in it here while back. Yeah. Still a beautiful area down here. It is beautiful. Buffalo River Trail. That trailhead. Boxley's 11 miles. Boxley Trailhead and Steel Creek's 2 miles. We've walked the Steel Creek and we've not walked this one up here to Boxley yet, but we will someday. No horses on that trail. Yep. The horses go, I think, over there somewhere. Yeah. 